Hang on a minute. It's you. I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Recognize us? How? I'll show you. Follow me. Um, okay. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof. You guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not... Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Must have been when we showed up. This is so ridiculously creepy. Right? At first I was like, oh cool, fan art, flattering. But the more I thought about it, creepy is definitely right. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Oh, let's huddle up in the dining room. I wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said that was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no! Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Talk Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just... I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. His stuff just disappeared. Went down this weird hole in the floor. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but then why invite us all here? That's true. Hadn't thought about that. Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hey, come on, everyone. If there's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. Ha, <laughs> inspiring. There you go, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Wow. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie, psst. Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here, especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. I say we talk to everyone and gain their trust. Yeah, good luck with that.
Let's get investigating then. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this torque dog situation. Yeah? Go ahead. It seemed like people were really interested in seeing torque dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk Dog. So this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have? What can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello! Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but what? what? Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm hmm. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but... He was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? Well, that might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know. You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. I asked Stacy about why she wanted to see Torque Dog's inventory so bad. She said she was just curious. Huh, just like me. What a coincidence. There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? 
Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that. Especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. Why is everyone so secretive about this thing? What's the big deal? There's a temple, way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It and... can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? Did, have, you, have you seen it? Have you seen it today? I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just use it a little no, while geez, ago to put get... Put that away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Everyone? Everyone? We've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why uh, Torque Dog died? And Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkles? Panic, 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 and the white pumpkin. One of you is the treasure I desire. And I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. More panicking, more panicking. White pumpkin? I'm too cute to die. They killed Sparkles. They killed Sparkles. No, 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 no. This guy, what's going on? No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on, hang on. This is awful. Terrible! Who was that guy? And there's no such thing as white oh, pumpkins! That's all the white pumpkins hanging all over the place! Uh, uh, uh. I don't like it! I really don't... I actually saw him in the window when we first got here. You mean he's been in here the whole time? I'm so getting out of here. Uh. So much for a nice dinner party. Ah! Oh no! I don't like the sound of that. Oh! Shut the door! Shut the door! And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. But your inventory's clean, right? No flint and steel? Why would he want you? I suppose he's just being thorough. Also, I'm sure I've got something he wants. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the White Pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, 
Trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out! This is a crime scene! Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Impressive. Anything? Nah, it looks like a regular old fireplace. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of Just you like is before. the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. It must have been a diversion from whatever was going on in the room at the time. What, like you think the White Pumpkin was in the room with us? Possibly. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A White Pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the White Pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the White Pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the White Pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? Once we get everyone calmed down, we need to keep looking for clues. So far, we found those tipped arrows and these traps, meaning that the White Pumpkin is a great brewer and a redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. Hey, 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 I'm not accusing anyone. Yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger. And I don't care for it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions. And I want nice, little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Stampy Cat. 